Yo, this is a no spoilers review of the movie Eden Lake. And I'm gonna just say off rip, this movie is fucked up. If you despise unprovoked and unjustified violence and sadist gruesome shit, this ain't the movie for you. Don't watch this shit, I'm telling you right now. Because it's gruesome and it's violent. And if that's not what you like, don't watch it and then complain that it's too gruesome and violent. So Eden Lake. Is about a couple played by Michael Fassbender and Kelly Riley, Steve and Jenny. And they go to like some quarry out in the middle of the woods to just kind of camp out and be alone. Um, and they end up confronting these little heathen thug ass fucking crazy kids who are just dis disturbing their groove, disturbing their peace, you know. Um, but it turns out they shouldn't have fucked with these particular kids. So um, actually this movie was better than I expected. It wasn't perfect by any means. But I feel like some of the emotions it draws out of you make up for it. It started out like all the rest of these movies about people getting fucked up out in the woods. So honestly, I wasn't expecting much. But like halfway through, this shit took a serious turn. These kids, they're the leader. And he is just a fucked up, look. I mean like Ramsey Bolton fucked up little kid. If you don't know who that is... Uh, watch Game of Thrones. So I'm going to start with dislikes. My first dislike is um, there are a lot of cliches, um, just cringeworthy cliches, mostly dealing with the kids. I don't want to go into any more detail than that, but just know it was just really about the kids. Um, my next dislike is, as usual, there was some generally poor decision making on behalf of the protagonist and just some unrealistic responses to some things. And there was one scene in particular that you know, it just didn't make any sense. And I was like, come on. Um, my next dislike is there were a couple of plot conveniences. You know, some some of the overall flow of the movie was, was really forced along. And my likes, I can't say that I really liked the couple, but I didn't dislike them. Like, they, luckily, they just weren't completely useless and defenseless because I get tired of that. Um, but they don't always make the best decisions, but then sometimes they're really smart. So you go back and forth between, okay, that was a smart move to, okay, that was dumb as fuck. And even though sometimes it was predictable, um, based on their responses, it, it wasn't that bad. And my next, like, is just the overall story. Um, it, it did, they didn't hold back and it can be very shocking and unpredictable. There was one scene that literally shocked me. Like even when you do see something coming in this movie, you don't always see it coming to that extent that it does. And my next like is you will experience the whole spectrum of emotions and that that's it as far as that goes. And the last like is I think the casting and acting were really good. I didn't think I was, you know, going to like these two cornball looking, you know, this couple um, I'm always rooting for the bad guy to kill people just for being stupid. But there was enough fight in them, especially um, the woman that, you know, even when she was stupid, I was still cheering for her. Um, honestly, I the movie was good enough that I found myself forgiving some of the issues with it. I rated it a 7 out of 10. I do recommend watching this if you're a true horror movie lover. I think you'll love it. Um, and I also suggest listening to my Lake Bodum review. And uh, follow me on Twitter at moviebuffchick1 and like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>